I'm using cheese popcorn in the Stampin' Up! Sparkly Season stamp set for an oh-so-cute popcorn pumpkin Halloween treat. Come and watch! I fell for the Sparkly Season stamp set because we can make snow globes. I've loved snow globes ever since I saw Heidi as a little girl. But I also knew I'd have a lot of fun making jack-o'-lanterns. And then when I saw the popcorn, I thought, wouldn't that be great if I could make popcorn pumpkins? And so I fully expected that I would be using our cellophane bags. They hold their shape. They're great. And... Uh, and that was the problem. It held its shape too well and I needed to be rounded. So what I end up doing was getting out one of the old uh, fold top sandwich bags and well I didn't want that fold down so I got out my craft scissors and where this fold is just ran along here and snipped it. That's how easy that that went. Okay There we go. So now we're all set. We've got our bag all done and we need <laughs> the face for the jack-o'-lantern because the popcorn will be the pumpkin. And when you're stamping on plastic, stays on will dry on a non-porous surface. I have the jet black stays on. All right. Now when you're doing this, you have to stamp a lot lower than you think. Your, your instinct's going to want to go in the middle. Don't do that. You're going to want to come down here a lot lower. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 14 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. <laughs> and there we have it. And so it takes three to five minutes for the stays on to dry on a non-porous surface. So I have one ready to go with popcorn in it. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Okay, it's still not quite as round as I want. So all I did was fold these over. All right, that's not, and we're just gonna tape it down. A little bit of transparent tape and create the roundness that we're after. All right, and if I have to, I can take out a little bit of popcorn, but, okay, so I think we'll, well, I'll just have to eat that. <laughs> oh, it breaks my heart. <laughs> all right, let's see. And so we gather that all up and move that around. Okay, how cute is this? And so then you have to figure out how you're going to finish it off. And I thought, oh, raffia. I want to use raffia. This will be perfect. And it was. It looked like the long vines after I got it tied off. thought this is so stinking cute. And, uh, and it is. And then I kept wishing I had green raffia. Oh, I wish I had green raffia. And then I slept on it. And uh, I swear I just need to live in the shower all the time because that's where ideas come to me. I thought, oh my goodness. I can make green raffia. I've got ink. What was I thinking? So I got out my old olive classic stamping pad and uh, I thought I'd just sponge it. Well that was okay but it was going slow so I got out my old ink uh, my old olive ink refill. I like to put it right in the lid when I close it all I'm going to do is re-ink the pad right and a sponge dauber. Just thin this out some. And there we go. And so it's keeping the, the feel of, you know, that really, oh, I guess rustic, country, country looking. Raffia is very country, but we're adding that green to it and what a difference it makes, even though it's not horribly bold, you know, but it really looks so much cuter in my pumpkin bag. So just a couple strands of this, and actually I cut one strand into three and still had some left over. All right, let me show you my finished project. Here's my finished popcorn pumpkin. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I just love him. So what I did was I added a tag and the trick or treat. Well, that came from the A Little Something stamp set. I stamped it on a Whisper White cardstock with a basic black archival ink and then watercolored with Tangelo Twist and a little bit of Old Olive. And then I die cut it with a coordinating die from the Square Pillow Box Thinlets dies. And these two come as a bundle. When you look for the special item number, you'll bundle and save 
15%. But then it still needs a little something more. So back to the Sparkly Season stamp set. I have the stem with the leaf to go with the jack-o'-lantern. So I stamped that with the basic black archival ink on Old Olive cardstock twice and then die cut it with the coordinating die from the seasonal frame thinlet dies. And you guessed it. This is a bundle. You'll purchase these together and save 15%. What I love about these two stamp sets is that they're not just Halloween. You've got other holidays and seasons too. And you can purchase both of those bundles in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, so you can make adorable Halloween treats. And then don't forget my Founder Circle special. I have a Halloween treat for all those who purchase at least $50 or more in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, through September 21st. And when you do, I'm going to send you a sampling of all 12 of the patterns from the Happy Haunting Designer Series paper. And I'll send that with your thank you card. So get on over to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, and place that $50 or more Stampin' Up! product order. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.